Hey everyone, welcome. This is Doki, Yume Kojo, Doki Doki Panic. Um, the best SMB2 ROM hack there is. That is the number one comment I get when the people come into chat and watch this game. So um, I'm gonna let I'm gonna introduce Couch. So I'm Lack Attack. This is Author Blues. We've got Verney. We've got Cool Kid. And we do have Cosmic. Okay, he, he showed up, snuck in at the last second. So they're going to be doing the commentary, um, and we're going to get started. I'd like to say one thing. We've got um, to get the true ending in this game, you have to beat the game with all four characters. And this is being played on an actual Famicom disc system. So we use floppy disks right here. And the game will have to load. Wait. I'm pretty sure I put it in upside down, so it might give me an error, but that's okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, get used to seeing that. So yeah, so this is a completed, nearly completed, 100%. So it will, I can choose any level I would like. Um, so I'm going to start our chapter in this game, uh, or board if you prefer. If you prefer. Um, so I'm going to start at chapter one. Uh, we'll get a countdown. So I want you to get super hype for uh, Doki Doki Panic in three, two, one, go. And now you have to wait. So you get all, you get all hype and then you still have to wait. Take right. it away. All right, so Doki Doki Panic. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice was, well, it's kind of slow. Uh, there's no run button in this game. There is in SMB2. But still, he's playing as Papa, which uh, is, he's going to be using his character throughout the entire run. And he, uh, well, the benefit to using him is that he runs 20% faster whenever he's carrying uh, certain items like this power block or an enemy. So, uh, yeah. Right, so he's gonna attempt a, a little clip here. It's kind of tricky. Oh, that's all right. Regrab the ladder. I've never done that. <laughs> okay. So you'll notice a lot of graphical differences here, like oh, yeah. the falcon heads are replaced. <laughs> um, and the uh, Birdo makes interesting sounds as well. <laughs> but still the same three hits, yeah. <laughs> oh, and this green, this green is very green, too. No slot machine. But yeah, so 1-2 is going to attempt a fast carpet. This looks good, all right, nice. Clap. <laughs> yeah, that skips basically the entire level. So here's Birdo once again. See if it gets the, the faster cycle here. Yeah, these Birdos operate on a uh, kind of like a global timer, level timer. And uh, just starts, yeah, once you start the level. So if you get here fast enough, you get here, I don't know. Faster, I guess, I suppose. I know, I'm not really familiar with this game. This game is this game is, this is quite crazy. Sure. Yeah, he will be playing as Papa for the whole run, but that's really not by choice. You kind of are stuck with one, um, and so Papa's the fairly clear choice because even though he is pretty much the slowest character, when he picks up an item, he runs something like 20% faster, so. Right, so uh, coming up is a pretty uh, difficult skip. It's gonna attempt to uh, skip uh, grabbing the key up top. Let's we'll see, if, see how it goes. So it's gonna grab the shy guy and bring the shy, ride the shy guy down to the bottom, and then, ooh. All right, retry. Yeah, it's gonna, he'll be riding the shy guy down to the bottom, and then he'll attempt a, a clip similar to one he attempted in one dash one. And this one's, this one's big. If he gets it, Let's see if it goes. All right, nice. Nice. Oh, with the jump too, wow. All right, so coming up first, first world boss, Mouser. 
good stuff. So I do believe just three hits on Master, Master 1. Um, just gotta chuck the bombs back at him. And, all right, good job. Man, it's so kind of weird with the music. The music is similar, but it's not, oh, wait, all right. <laughs> yes, you must hurry up and then wait. Yeah. This is probably a good level to go into the lore a little bit yeah, where, so this, of where everything came from. Yeah, so this game was made by Nintendo for a uh, Japanese festival. Um, they were sort of contracted out to do so. Um, and so this game includes a lot of characters that were specific to that festival, sort of their mascots. So you had uh, Imogen, Papa, and Mama, and I can't remember the last character's uh, name. Lena. Lena. Yeah. Um, and so they all, if you're familiar with Super Mario Brothers 2, are analogs of characters. So Papa is obviously the Toad character. Um, but the story behind this game is that the two little children in the family were pulled into this storybook by Wart. And so the whole family has to go into the storybook in order to rescue them back. Um, and so that's where, that's where the whole Dreamland idea came from initially. And then when uh, they decided to finally bring this game to America, uh, they translated over um, and changed the story slightly to have all the Mario characters heading into Subcon to defeat Ward. But as you can see, aside from just changing the characters themselves, um, pretty much everything else was kept the same. Birdo, Shy Guy, Wart, all those characters um, came from the original Yumekoju Doki Doki Panic. Yeah, and there's a lot, a lot of Mario games have these characters in them. I mean, all the way up to, like, Super Mario Party has them now, has Shy Guys, and uh, uh, you can thank this game for it. I did, I did that on purpose so that it despawns all of the shots from these uh, Cobrats here so that with that bullet following me. Nice. This game does have a sprite limit and it's abused and abuses us throughout the run. Aside from just uh, running through levels, are your strats considerably different because you can't run? Oh yeah, there's a lot of uh, jumps that you can't make um, with just uh, uh, running or just walking and um, you have to do a lot of power squat jumps. This is actually what they're called. Um, so you'll be seeing me do that a few times in the run. I got five cherries there so I could get that star, uh, so I could make it through that snippet without getting hit. Hey, hot take time. Do you like the star music better from this game or SMB2? SMB2. Oh, wrong answer. Ah. Oop. Fortunately, aside from the uh, running differences, a lot of the strats that we know of from SMB2 do sort of have analogs um, for this game. So uh, things like manipulating enemies oh. tends to be somewhat similar. The rules about Birdo being on a 254 frame cycle. I tried to ride that guy. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to do that in uh, other levels coming up. All right, so just some more digging. So this is the final level of World 2, and there'll be no more digging until World 6, I believe. So this this world is quite slow paced, but it'll be. Uh, once you got out of this, it'll be nice and fast. Even with oh. Papa running slower, his digging speed almost pays for itself over the uh, course of the run. But they, they all dig the same speed, just that he, he he picks up stuff faster, but the digging speed is all the same between characters. That's very Which nice. Which is different than yeah. Mario 2. Yeah. Nice. So that's sorry, let me go by the Sparky there, even though I didn't actually hit him, so I made the early cycle or whatever. Yeah, coming up, I'm gonna try to go for a quick kill on Triclod since I have full health. I 
Can you really tell that 20% speed difference when he's uh, running with the, with the item? <laughs> Nice, good job. <laughs> All right, so come up with World 3. Uh, don't look too closely on the screen here, the second screen. Yeah, the waterfall could cause, if you have epileptic, epileptic symptoms, you may not want to watch. <laughs> All right, so coming up here, next screen. Focus on the clouds, focus on the clouds. And we told you, it's not good. Nice, those were, those were some very nice jumps. Really difficult to get Okay, there you're safe quickly. now. You're safe. All right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> oh, nice, got the ladder jump. Those are on a three frame window. Those jumps up the uh, vine or ladder, so pretty tight. It's going great so far. No bonus, though. Ah. I thought about going for the bonus um, for some extra lives, but it seems kind of slow. He had a couple of extra lives out in the wild. He did grab one in 1-1, one I believe. So... Good. Here we're doing another ladder jump. Nice. Oh, oh no! It's all right. Let's go back up. Okay, nice. Luckily, I have this sticker on top of the TV to tell me when to jump. <laughs> it's usually, hey, since Papa walks in the middle of the screen, and he is walking, uh, the, uh, the jump is uh, right there, so. Nice, she's being very nice with the eggs. You can either get chill out or spit out an egg or a fireball, the red birdos. The, I don't, there are like three or four different kinds of birdos. But we're gonna encounter birdos later on that I don't spit out any eggs, but that was, that was real nice. So, so coming up to 3-3 is one of, definitely one of the harder levels in the game. Especially if you play as Papa, there's a, uh, it's, it's a very difficult platforming section coming up once we get in here. So you're kind of supposed to go up in that door, the first door we saw, but he's going to go into this door instead and get the ninja and carry the ninja up top, attempt a little sequence break. Oh, so nice. So these jumps are very difficult. Oh, all right. So a power squat jump up of this ninja and through. All right, yeah, that's good. Nice, got the despawn. So if you, ha if you have enough fireballs on the screen once you get up there, there's supposed to be a uh, sniffet, I believe, and despawns. So playing as Papa in this level is kind of, ooh. It's a little annoying because he has to do those power squat jumps to get up certain platforms. But uh, it's just overall the fastest character anyway, just because of that 20% uh, speed increase. Nice. All right, just, just run, OK? Just run. Just run. Oh, OK. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that works in Mario 2, because I think you move too fast. Mm -hmm. Another advantage this game has over <laughs> the predecessor, or the uh, successor. What? The bomb hitboxes can be kind of finicky. Uh, is there four hits on this guy? Uh, it's six. Six hits, okay. Nice. Jeez, that's mean.
I really have to discipline myself to not mass start like the speed run. Yes, I must wait. <laughs> uh, since I had already beaten all the uh, levels in the game, um, it, it puts you in World 7. Boards, excuse me. It puts me in World 7, and so uh, if I mass start, I'll go to World 7 instantly. That's considered like New Game Plus since you've already beaten the game. That'd be I'd, so fast though. Yeah. I'd say this is a good time for donations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Black Bowed, for the $200 donation. Yeah. We're all cheering you on from the office, Lack Attack. Throw those turnips to cancer until it's defeated once and for all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bully Mania, for the $300 donation. Oh, wow. Hi, everyone. Sad that I can't be there for Lax Run today, but traveling down tomorrow for my second ever GDQ. Hoping that the new Proud Papa can get a new world record during his marathon run. The staff at the Fort Gibdo gift shop voted and decides the donation goes to Runner's Choice. <laughs> Thanks, Bully. <laughs> Historic Fort Gibdo. Thank you, Killer Typo, for the $50 donation. Good luck on your run, Lack. We're all here rooting for you in Discord. Thank you very much, Cisco Kid, for the $50 donation. What better time to donate than seeing my favorite speedrunner, Lack Attack, running a game at AGDQ. Good luck, Lack, and continue the momentum from Clemson's win. Let's have fresh PB toast today. Let's do it. Here we have the whales of attachment. <laughs> Thank you very much, McRed, for the $100 donation. Good luck, Lack. My money is still on Monty Merle. Donation goes to number one Lackey's choice. Yeah, this is one of the screens that I would say it's definitely much harder in this version of the game because just you cannot run and if with a run button you could just jump between the whales, but so it's nicely done. Here it'll be grabbing some you'll ride the autobomb and grind some grab some uh, cherries. So once it gets the uh, final one here, it's gonna get a star. Ooh. All right, see if we can do this. Run, Papa. Oh, nice. Tell you what, Papa is just fast. He's as fast as he needs to be. <laughs> Not showing off, not falling behind. <laughs> so yeah, for Street, here's one of the levels where you can skip most of the level if you played as uh, Luigi, but uh, Le what's her name? Lena? Uh, you actually can't make the jump because you can't run, so you can't make oh, it across. That's right, I forgot about that. All right, so we're going into tower. Yeah, so this is DLC for uh, <laughs> Mario 2. You should consider playing this part, cool kid. It's fun. I kind of do want to play it now. Well, there goes okay. my record. <laughs> so you pick that guy up. He falls faster than you, so you want to make sure he gets out of the way. This is the first uh, first time in the game we get ch chased by the infamous Fanto, which is a little different looking in this game. A lot less scary looking. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the kind of guy you could really get a beer with. <laughs> <laughs> or a refreshing Coke Zero. Oh, get in there, no! Oh, that's about unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> the end of stage is pretty hard, so. Yeah, the World for Boss uh, Fry Guy. Come on down. There you go. Shh. 
Nice. Those little fry guys are always really hairy, so it's, uh... It almost doesn't matter how long it takes, as long as it completes. Right, exactly. <laughs> Don't go too fast. <laughs> All right, so there'll be more waterfalls on the, uh, the second screen of 5-1 here, so yet again, uh... Don't look at them too closely. Oh yeah, the waterfalls. All right, so there's a there's a, another one up that. Birdo. So this is all right. <laughs> I believe this is the first gray birdo that we were countering in the game. This one does not spit any e out any eggs, so that was nice. <laughs> Just have to toss. Uh, not the mushroom block. I guess they're called clown blocks in this game. They're mask, like yeah, masks, yeah. mask blocks. We can call it whatever we want. <laughs> I don't know if that lore has been decided yet. This is another stage that's made really difficult by the fact that you can't run. Um, just making these poop star cycles. Okay. Nice. And that was it. <laughs> oh man. These are crispy vines. <laughs> there we go. The climb. What a blow up. Have you noticed any other like big differences, cool kid, when playing this? Like you play you got to play it a little bit earlier. Like what is probably the hardest thing of this game compared to Mario 2? Just you just need, I don't know, patience. You cannot, there's no run button. I, I don't know. I just, the fact that you cannot run, the fact that you just walk and it's the, it's the hardest part of the entire game. Yeah, I actually don't know if, if you just play Mario 2 without holding the B button to run, is it the same as this game? I don't think so. I mean, you don't get Papa, so that's one thing. <laughs> it is interesting how not having a run button is enough to make all of the strats so significantly different. All right, so 5-3, this is, it's got to be the hardest stage in the game. It's a very long stage, too, um, with a very annoying boss fight at the end. All right, nice. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. Oh. All right, a little bit of lag. Okay, oh, well, no. that was, yeah. All right. I like a lot of lag there. I like how it says bomb, too. What's it say in the original game again? I don't remember. Is it bomb? Is it, it's B-O-M-B. Oh, yeah. It's BOM in this one. Man. I'm pretty close to the heart. Yeah, so he'll get a heart once he's uh, defeated enough enemies. Oh. Oh, no, it's over there. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, wait, oh. hold up. Clip. Oh, baby. <laughs> Never doubted it for a second. <laughs> That's huge, too, because the end of the stage is just very, very tough. Come on. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's cool how you put the... Oh, yeah, you got to put that? it up there. You got to decorate the doorway. All right, nice. Not a fast carpet ride. So here's probably the, oh yeah, good job. So here's probably the most significant difference going from this game and SMB2 USA. There's no, uh, you don't get to fight Claw Grip in this game. Instead, you fight a uh, 
not a mouser. Oh, get in. Nice. Got some spikes at the bottom, too. And this mouser's got six health points, just like the World 3 mouser does. We did. We were able to. <laughs> we're able to wait, and then we're able to select the correct board every single time. So it's, it's been good so far. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> I should have waited. The game told me to wait. Also not worried. <laughs> or about this one. <laughs> or I was worried about that one. <laughs> Alright, so if you're taking a particular pattern to manipulate the shy guy, like so he doesn't follow him, and then nice. That's a, that's a pretty precise pickup. Just grab the key without digging the sand tile. So it's this is pretty scary. One health uh, on this birdo. Yeah, I'm a little scared here. Oh. oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Okay, now we go. All right. Oh! <laughs> okay. Let's just get this one. <laughs> now what you gonna right. do? <laughs> Had to surprise him. He didn't see the double block coming. Yeah, on the topic of waiting, um... Uh... The second screen of 6-2 is uh, a cozy one. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to do the 6-2 skip skip. <laughs> and now is an absolutely wonderful time for donations. Fair enough. Uh, thank you very much, Pronzo, for the $25 donation. The man, the myth, the legend. Good luck, Lack, and thanks GDQ team and staff for helping a great cause. Go a little while longer, so go for another one. Sure. Thank you very much, Tiamat, for the $30 donation. Thank you to all the runners for doing this. My mom passed away from cancer a year and a half ago after a three-year battle. Shout out to Lack for being the first streamer I started watching. Always fun to watch. Nice. That was a great kill. Good job. All right, so six dash three. Um, there's a little intended shortcut here at the very uh, start of the second screen. Uh, you cannot do. There's a potion jump you can do in SMB2 USA, but since Papa is kind of uh, well, he's a, he's a little heavy, so he cannot quite make it with the potion. So we have to go under. Literal twenty hertz mashing right here. <laughs> it's probably about two. All right, let's go in the door and we appear right next to the pyramid, conveniently enough. It's... Nice, nice. Oh, triple. I've actually never done that before in this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the second track five. This one's quite scary. You cannot quick kill him like you can World 2, but that was really good. That was a really good level. Yeah, he's making a lot of these fights look easy, but they can be really shaky sometimes. All right, final world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Thank you, Anonymous, for the $5 donation. I would read it, but you all, but all of you guys already read it. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm waiting for the bird. That's, that's fair. Yeah. You only save a couple frames by going and um, 
You get the really cool rocket ship sound. I like I like with the FDS uh, sound channels. So up here is another slight change from SMB2 USA to put another pillar with the shy guy. Conveniently enough, really close to the ladder, just jump over. Well, fortunately, they fixed that in the SMB2 version. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very important fix. Ah. Yeah, again, this ladder Ooh. jumps. Oh. oh. Three frame windows, so they are pretty precise. Jump off them. So not a great bird though, just only spit out fireballs. Oh, you didn't get the respawn. Whoa. I don't know why. You can do that in this version? Yes, you can get the, the respawn. All right, final level in the game, 7-2. I don't trust those guys one bit. They shoot, I think on a global timer and they uh, always get in the way. Well, those ninja jumps are a little different, huh? Yeah, man. Don't have the easy run option in this game. All right, so coming up here is one of the bigger skips in the game. Ooh, ooh, all right, nice. He really, he really does not. He does not want to take that hit. Nice. So this skips a lot of this level. Um, there's a tower you have to climb, uh, and then you come down the other side. You're supposed to go through a bunch of different rooms, doing a bunch of different things. Uh, he's just going to skip basically straight to the last Birdo. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, you can't actually grab the key like you can in SMB2. You have to leave the room and then come back. Good thing they fixed that in SMB2 USA. Yeah. <laughs> All right, nice. Nice. All right. All right, so here is Wart. That's one mean veggie. Oh, get out of here with that. <laughs> no. And yeah, that'll do it. Oh, that'll just four it. hits. All right. Yeah, just four hits. All right, time will be on entering the door. Time. <laughs> Final time is 31. <laughs> what, what was it? 31.43. <laughs> so that was 15 seconds over the uh, my PB and uh, current world record. So very awesome. I actually thought it was going to be a PB because nothing really went wrong. Um, just super happy for this run. Thanks for the guys doing commentary on the couch. Uh, the family were able to rescue the kids, and the subcons rejoice, even though I guess they're the Dream Factory people. So since we had beaten the game with all four characters, uh, we get the special ending where they come out of the book, and their pet monkey rejoice rejoices. So that's it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, really, really fun game to play. If you have any questions, please, please ask me. Uh, you can at me on Twitter or something. For the new Doki Doki Panic community that's about to form. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you on the next run. Thank you very much, Black Attack. All right, I'll be logging off for now. I'll return later in the marathon. But for now, stay tuned, as up next, we will have Rayman 2, The Great Escape by Glackham.
Good afternoon, speedrunners and speed friends. My name is Crunchy Lex, and I'm going to be your voice behind the mic for the next few games. And I am so very excited to be back. Hope you all are excited to be catching all these fantastic speedruns we've had so far and that we will continue to have for the rest of the week. But you all aren't here for me. You all are here to hear what you guys are saying. So let's just jump right back into that, shall we? Wind Chaser 316 donates $50 and says, Nice run, Lack. Watched a lot of your runs over the years and excited to finally see one in person. We have $25 from Jared saying, Had to donate during Lack's run. I'm sure he has not come down after that huge Clemson win last night. Not only is Lack a legendary speedrunner, but also an awesome dude. I think we can all agree on that one. Thanks for all you do for the community, and good luck. Now, for those of you watching out there, we firmly believe that charity is its own reward, but if you want to put that towards something else, we've definitely got some quality incentives coming up. In fact, later on this very afternoon, we have our Sonic block, and we have a bonus race chilling for that one. We have a Sonic Mania Plus race. That one's going to take $30,000 to unlock. We're only at about 12 214 right now. I think we can absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, hit that before then. That's going to be in about, I want to say, five hours or so. So, come on, folks, let's make that one happen. I definitely want to see that race, and I think you all do too, even if you don't know it yet. Okay. 
We have $50 from J Madman 312 My wife lost her mother to cancer as a teenager, and my mother was diagnosed last year. Here's a donation to support all the moms with cancer out there and cheer on the great lack attack. Good luck from The Bakery. For anyone who might be curious out there, coming up, we also have a couple of very heated bid wars going on. Again, in Sonic Block, the hot, hottest, spiciest speedrun of 2019, Sonic Ball, has a character choice bid war going on. Right now, Knackles is very much in the lead with a strong 1,244. So if you're a fan of, say, Sonic, who is only at 380, make your voice heard. Push him up to the top, because he needs your help. And also, the one that I'm a little bit invested in myself, the upcoming Sonic Rush run, which is going to be a spectacular run. The Sonic versus Blaze bid war. Blaze is currently in the lead with 1,538, and Sonic is trailing at 453 now. Me personally, I'm okay with things as they are, but if you're not, then, well, gonna have to do something about that, I think. We have $10 from Noxious Noxy. Finally managed to catch one of these wonderful events live. Please put my donation toward runner's choice, and I hope you have the smoothest run possible. Well, we're glad you managed to catch this one live, Noxy, and we hope you're enjoying yourself.